Uh, so this weekend, um, at this stage of the season, how important is it to get good performances against Michigan and Michigan State? It's always important to get good performances. I think it's that's what we're striving for. I think the thing at the end of the year that maybe um, we're getting close to the NCAA tournament, and uh, you know I would, we want to we want to get all the things in place that we want to get in place before we get to the tournament, and we want to get our um, we want to be clicking on all cylinders, you know, and getting our offense spread out and. And have everyone connecting with Annie so that we can, I don't know if we gain any momentum, but just so we feel good going to the tournament about our offense and, and our defense. Um, and as far as this past week, you know, the, you had two wins this past weekend. Um, what has that done for this week's practice? Uh, nothing. I think last week's practice was great. You know, I think it, we've just carried over that. I, um, the, whatever happened last week is gone. And um, for us, the thing, we're committed to being the best team we can. And we, we worked our butts off last week. and girls are back working their butts off this week. I thought yesterday's practice was as good as any practice we've had all year. Um, and is there anything specific that you are trying to accomplish this week um, in preparation for Michigan and Michigan State? Uh, they, they both do some interesting things offensively, and so we're doing a little bit of stuff where we're just trying to recognize combinations that are coming at us defensively. Uh, offensively, we're working on some stuff, but I'm not going to talk about that because they'll probably watch this. Um, and how have you seen them change since the last time you, you played them? Both teams have mixed up personnel a little bit um, and put people in different positions than they were last time, whether it's an outside from L1 to L2. Uh, you know, Michigan's dealing with some injury stuff. We're not sure who's going to play. You know, Hunt might be out. We're, we're trying to figure that out. I don't know if we'll know. We'll probably know Friday when they play Northwestern. Michigan State's kind of put Ralph in some different positions. And, you know, they're, 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 what matters is they got a bunch of weapons, and they're, they're, they're going to use them. And we're going to have to figure out probably on the fly where they're going to put them. Yeah, Michigan State's extremely good. Um, mm -hmm. what, They're both good at home. Yeah. yeah. Just playing on the road, this is the last time you guys are going to be on the road until the NCAA tournament. Um, how have you seen the girls react to both this season? Uh, I mean, it's hard to play on the road. There's a lot of distractions. Um, I think, you know, the, the, the main distraction thing that people aren't cheering for you and all that. But I think we've been a good road team, you know. I, we have, two of our losses have been on the road. We've had one at home. You know, I, I bet those two losses were against very good teams that uh, are, are tough to beat at that, their place. And I thought we managed the distractions for the most part. I think the, the one time it got away from us was at uh, Nebraska in the fourth set, you know, where I feel like the, that was the only time we've really been affected by it. But we played a lot of road matches. I feel like we're comfortable playing on the road because you just kind of focus on you. And, um, you know, it's nice to quiet the crowd if you can. But I think for what's more important is we got to focus on trying to beat Michigan State because they're very good.